everyone. My name is Alana and I'm a scientist with the Think Like a Scientist after school program. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Alka-Seltzer lava lamp experiment. I'm pretty excited. So what you're going to need is some vegetable oil, olive oil would probably work as well, an Alka-Seltzer tablet, some food coloring, a bit of water, and a clear, either a glass or a vase or a really tall bowl would work as well. You might also want to have an adult as your assistant. So, have you guys ever heard the saying that water and oil don't mix? This is because there's a special property in the molecules that make up the water and the molecules that make up the oil called polarity. Now it's a pretty intimidating word, but a lot of things have polarity, like a magnet, to have a north end and a south end, you might have noticed some attract, some repel, or electricity, which can be positively or negatively charged. So we'll see in this experiment how the water and the oil separate because the water is polar and the oil is non-polar. We're also going to learn a little bit about acidity and bases as well in this experiment. We're gonna test this by seeing if we can disrupt these layers. So I have a little bit of water in this glass, so I'm just gonna pour it right in. Okay, there you go. You can use tap water, bottled water, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna pour, you might want an adult's help for this. Um, a little bit of oil, about the same amount, maybe a little more into the glass. So you can see right there, they're already starting to separate out. So the oil is going to be sitting on top of the water. Isn't that pretty cool? Can you see that? And then this is where you might want to, your adult assistant to help you too. I'm gonna add a few drops of food coloring into the oil. So you can see they're slowly sinking down. And they're sort of sitting on that layer. You might need to give it a few minutes here, but the food coloring is polar, like the water. And so it's sinking through the oil and it's trying to get into that water layer. So it's not a big deal if you don't have the time to wait for this. So you can see all my drops are coming down to the middle layer. Then you can wait for the, the drops to settle down, but you don't have to. I'm gonna take a tablet of Alka-Seltzer and just unwrap it, drop it in. Look at that, isn't that cool? So all of the food coloring is now in the water layer. And as the Alka-Seltzer tablet dissolves in the water, it's releasing acid and base. And these two don't really like each other. This produces air. And the air is trying to escape by rising through the oil layer and creating these little blobs looking just like a lava lamp. Isn't that pretty cool? Now you can play around with this a lot. You can try different colors, you can try adding more than one color at the same time and seeing what happens. You can also try playing with what kind of oil you use or how much water and how much oil. So looks like this is starting to calm down. When your bubbles stop rising and you're done with the experiment, super easy to clean up. You can just pour it right down the drain. Hope y'all have fun making this experiment.